It was just before 1030 on a Sunday night. DJ Stylus had just finished working a gig at the wharf. He was tired but needed to send a text message. So instead of driving distracted, he says he pulled the car over here on 7th Street. And that's when the suspects approached. We'll tap, tap on the driver's window, put the pistol in my face, and he kind of motioned, like, get out. If time doesn't always heal, it certainly helps. It's been just over a week that Rome Anderson, also known as DJ Stylus, was face to face with a gun. A frightening few moments this DC native says felt eerily similar to the 1980s and the days the district was struggling through the crack epidemic. They're broken differently, but they're, they're broken in ways I can recognize. Thankfully, he walked away and managed to take his phone and key fob with him. But the thieves drove off with his brand new car and thousands of dollars in DJ equipment. Yeah, they were trying to buy Sheen and they were trying to buy uh, Uber Eats and they were trying to buy they're trying to get like a fan duel membership. About a half hour later, Anderson's car was recovered a mile away in Navy Yard. The suspects were caught on a neighbor's ring camera. The car was intact. The DJ equipment still inside. Anderson says they couldn't get far without that key fob. So on one hand, the criminality is clumsy because they're clearly not hardened and experienced, but on the other hand, it's the uh, danger factor is massively elevated because they're armed. Anderson shared his story on social media. His post describing the quote lost generation was shared 271 times, viewed over 200,000 times. I was just trying to process something that really disturbed me. And uh, it's with very few exceptions, it's literally been a tidal wave of kindness. When I was less angry, I was just wishing like, man, I wish these kids was loved on like I was. Police are still searching for those suspects in Southwest Delia Gonsalves, W USA 9. Hopefully they're found. Give them the support they need and glad he's OK. Yeah. To read more of Delia's reporting on this story, just head on over to WUSA9.com or download our free mobile app.